What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing news. I have some great news, in my opinion, and it looks like the infamous Cuban, Guillermo Rigondeaux, is going to be working with Freddie Roach for his next fight. Now, I like this for a few different reasons, and I'm going to explain that in the video. One reason I like it is because Freddie Roach is a good trainer. He, he is. Um, he's taken Manny Pacquiao and proved certain things about Manny Pacquiao. Granted, Manny Pacquiao was already gifted when he met up with Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach has worked with him, and since he's been with Roach, his uh, star power has skyrocketed. So he's a good trainer. Um, a lot of years in the business, he's worked with a lot of fighters. Um, Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So that's one reason. Two is I feel Rigondeaux, his career is um it needs to get rolling he, he needs to get the ball rolling he's a little bit boxing old and he needs to be active this is his time time to shine he has tons of amateur experience that has led him up to this particular point and this is good i think this is this will be a good fit another reason that i like this partnership is because rigandow to me already has an arsenal he's already like a master at his craft he's very highly skilled you know what I'm saying? He's like the Bret Hart of boxing. He's like, you know what I mean? The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. You know what I mean? Um, he's very technical. And a guy like Freddie Roach could perhaps spice up his offense to the point where um, he's still being defensive-minded like he normally is and not careless, but possibly more um, appealing to, I guess, the casual fans who call him boring. And the people who don't like his style. Maybe Freddie Roach can influence him a bit and get his offense going. So you already have the the good thing is to me, Rigondeau already has the skill set. So anything else will just be extra. As long as he doesn't lose what he was already working with, if that makes any sense. And then the last reason I, I like this is because Rigondeau has failed to get like any kind of mainstream notoriety. Um, he did what a lot of people can't do, and that's to take on a top champion who was even on someone's top 10 pound for pound list and make him look like shit in within like 11 fights or whatever it was. And he did that with Nonito Donaire. He schooled him, completely outboxed him. Me personally, if you watch my prediction video back then, I thought Donaire was going to win. I thought Donaire was quick as well. And I thought he was too big, and I thought Rigondeaux's chin was suspect. So I was like, fuck it. I'm, I'm rocking with Nonito. Plus, I'm from the Bay, you know what I mean? Try to support the Bay Area dudes like Nonito. Um, so I, I just thought all those things factored. And I really thought his chin was suspect. But even if it is, that remains to be seen, it doesn't matter because you have to hit the motherfucker first. So I really garnered a lot of respect for Rigondeaux after his performance. I see what he does to his opponents. Uh, the counter punching, the sharp, accurate shots. He makes them like fearful to engage with him. That's why he gets called quote unquote boring. So I, I developed a, a huge deal of respect for him after his um, performance against Donair and others haven't. So I think this partnership with Freddie Roach is good because the casual fans and like just basic boxing fans, if you know anything about boxing, you probably know Freddie Roach, you know what I mean? Or at least seen his face and that kind of stuff. So I think some of the casuals might even um, embrace Rigondeau a little bit more than they have in the in the past because Freddie Roach is a guy, a character, a face in the sport that he resonates with you. You know him from Pacquiao. You've seen him work with various fighters. So... I think it'll be some good exposure. He has a popular gym, the wildcard gym out in LA. So I think that'll be good exposure for a guy who, in my opinion, isn't getting his just due credit. Now I spoke to Rigandow um, on, on the internet. We were talking, um, some people were like, Oh, it's not him. Okay. But anyway, I, I spoke with Gary Hyde and stuff. Um, I was going to try to go to, to Miami actually to fuck with him. But if he's going to be out in California, that's even easier for me. Um, try to work on collaborate but anyway uh, if you follow me on instagram you'll see these posts a couple days ago i will try to reach out to rigadal to get any kind of confirmation as far as the deal with freddie roach or whatever and try to get um some questions answered but um Rignell, he's a cool dude he's a he's a cool dude he he was making a joke with me uh, fuck it just go if you don't know the joke go to my uh instagram i'm gonna cut this video off but 
if you don't know the joke, is it's on one of my posts at Boxing Ego. Do the research if you can't tell from these pictures what the joke is about. Cool. Uh, make sure you like my video as always. Hey, comment or subscribe to the next video. It's Ego signing off.